Hi, my lovely art friends. Today we're going to be using the Derwent Ink Tense Pencils. This is a really beautiful set, and there are so many beautiful colors, very vibrant colors to choose from. Now, the thing you have to remember about Ink Tense is that um, you need to swatch them all out before you start working. So I'm going to go ahead and look at my reference image. We're going to be doing a beautiful fall leaf today. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out my colors. And then I'm going to swatch them all out on a piece of paper. And this way we know exactly what we're getting out of that pencil. Um, the barrel of the pencil and the lead do not look like they look when you put them down on the paper. And then they're also going to look different when they're activated with water. So today's exercise, I'm going to show you how we blend these um, pencils and how I layer them and then how they get activated with the water. And then we're going to do a beautiful fall leaf um, at the end using all of the um, methods that I'm going to show you next. Whether I'm using ink tents or color pencils or markers, I go through this process and I do my homework before I start my drawing. This will set yourself up for success as you go along and it'll make the journey a lot more enjoyable and a lot easier to um, just know exactly what you're getting from these pencils. The most important thing to uh, remember is that you want to use a watercolor paper. You're going to be using several layers and um, everything is activated with water. So you're going to have a lot of water on the paper and to keep it from buckling and um, kind of shredding and making a mess, you want to use a nice heavyweight watercolor paper such as Arches, which is what I'm using here. Doing a project like this, you want to um, make sure that if you're going to go back in and layer, that you let the paper dry first before you go back and do your second coat of color. Now you can see I'm putting in some color on this circle. And then as I put in my next color, I'm going to overlap just slightly um, the previous color. And then when we go in with the water, it'll blend everything beautifully and you'll have a nice, beautiful transition. Now these pencils are so incredibly vibrant and beautiful and you get a lot of bang for your buck on these pencils. You don't have to put a lot of color down. You'll see in a second when we go in with the water, these things get so vibrant and bright and beautiful. You don't need a lot of product to get a lot of color out of it. So your pencils are gonna go a long, long way. So I'm going in with my second color and I'm just gonna overlap slightly um, with the second color and then we'll do a third color and then I'll show you um, how we activate it. The pencil leads on this set will sharpen beautifully. You can get a nice sharp point so that you can get the detail that you would get with a color pencil. You can use this product wet or dry, um, but it's a really great alternative if you like watercolor but like more control of a pencil. This is really a great alternative to um, color pencil. The color goes on really fast and beautiful. You can get your detail, um, but you're going to want to layer the way that you layer color pencils. So um, you'll see as we get into the leaf, I'm going to put down a first layer, then I'm going to let it dry, and then we can go in with several more layers on top. You just want to make sure you let it dry in between going back in with more color. So now I'm going to go in with some water and we're going to activate the color. Now the important thing to remember here is you want to start your activation going from the light into the dark. What will happen if you start in the dark area, it will just transfer all of that dark color into your lighter areas. So if you start light and then go into your dark area, you'll have much more success with blending. But you can see how vibrant and how beautiful the colors get when activated with the water. You want to constantly um, 
clean your brush into the water and then you can go in and kind of scrub those colors together and get a really beautiful uh, transition between colors. So it works like a watercolor and you can go back in and reactivate that color. And the more water you use, the more painterly in effect you're going to get and the, um, the more watercolor it will look um, in the end. The, more like a watercolor, less like uh, a pencil drawing. But once you let that dry, you can go back in with more layers. Now, another way you can use these pencils is I have a little bit of water on the brush. I'm just touching the tip of the pencil to the wet brush. And then you go down onto your paper and you're gonna get that really vibrant color right out of the pencil. Um, because you've wet it with that little bit of water on the brush. So I'm just going in, going to add some color down. And then you can go back in with the brush and you can um, pull that color out. You can make it a little bit lighter. But the thing to remember about these ink tense pencils is it is ink. It is not watercolor. Watercolor you can pick out with a tissue. Um, you can dilute it a lot easier. These pencils are so vibrant, it's a little more difficult to lighten something up once you've gone in um, with a really dark shade. You can add more water and thin it out a little bit, but um, it's really, once the color's down there, it's pretty much down there. You won't be able to pick that up with a tissue or, um, you know, use certain techniques that you use with watercolor. These inks are so vibrant and so bright um, and they will stain the paper a lot easier than a watercolor will. So just be careful with that. But you'll see as we go in with our leaf drawing um, that uh, you can control it. So just take your time with it. It does take a little getting used to, but I really love how beautifully vibrant and how um, you know, you really get a real big punch of color out of these pencils. So the third way to use the pencils is you can wet the paper and then go in on top with the pencils and you'll get that bright, beautiful color out of the pencil as well. You just have to be careful because, um, the more you kind of work it, you can overwork it, which will cause your paper to shred a little bit. Um, so just be careful if you're using uh, the wet technique and going in on top with the pencils. Just um, go very lightly and you'll um, be able to, to use that technique. Um, this can be good to get some different effects um, in your drawing. And I'm just showing you how sharp the pencils are, how you can get a nice clean line with them. And you can use them dry or you can use them wet. And I'm just going to go ahead and do another example of a blend. We're going to do three different colors of um, orange here. And like I said, you don't need a lot of material down to get a really vibrant punch of color. So I'm going in with this orange color. And then I'm going to go in with a, uh, um, a lighter uh, orange color. And then we're going to go into yellow. And then we'll activate it. And you can see how you can really blend very nicely all of this together. Now again, I'm going to go in and I'm going to start with my lightest color and then I'm going to blend down into my darker colors. As we go down, you'll see everything kind of just smushed together and you can get really nice transitions this way. 
um, and you can kind of control it with the water, the amount of water that you put on there. So I'll just go in and kind of scrub this in and you'll see how easy it is to get a huge bunch of color and how to make those colors blend together pretty seamlessly. So I would just practice a little bit with the materials, with the pencils. Um, make sure you're using the right paper, as I said, and you should um, have a good time with it. I really enjoyed using them, and I will do some more projects with them as we go along. So now we're gonna get into our leaf drawing. So I've sketched out my leaf in a yellow um, ink tense pencil and this way uh, it's just going to blend with the rest of the drawing um, and I'm not going to have any graphite showing through um, or any unnecessary uh, sketch lines showing through. It's all just going to blend together once we activate with the water. So I start going in and just kind of mapping in all of my colors. Um, as I look at the reference image and I'm just going to put my first coat down and get a good coat going on everything. So we're just lightly putting in um, where, where the colors change. I've got a little bit of green in there, a little bit of yellow, some oranges, some reds, and we're just going to get a nice solid base layer down and then we'll go in and we'll start to activate with the water um, and this is where the layering process starts so you can really start to layer um, your colors on top of one another um, and don't worry about getting too dark or um, too bright at this stage we're just putting the first coat down and remember when we add the water uh, things are going to get much much brighter and much more vibrant so we're just trying to get a nice light coat down on everything before we go in with the water this is always so satisfying when you start to go in with the water because you can see how bright everything gets like this is when I was telling you, you don't need a lot of material down um, to get a lot of bang for your buck. So you can see uh, what looks really light once you add the water really brightens up very quickly. So we're gonna just kind of go over everything lightly and try to get a nice um, blend and kind of bleed it out a little bit with that water. And then we're going to go ahead and let this dry and then we're going to go in with a second coat. So I'm going in with this light gray color for my shadow, but don't be fooled because as I go in with the water, this is almost going to turn um, black. So you have to be really careful with this. But the nice thing about the Ink Tense pencils are they have a white, um, a white pencil that you can go over this and we can lighten it up. And I'm going to do that um, so that my shadow isn't quite um, as dark. I think this was the Payne's Gray I used for the shadow, thinking it was going to be light enough, but it's um, it's very very black. So um, I'm going to use my hair dryer because I'm impatient and I'm going to dry that up so that we can start to go in with some more detail. So now I'm going in with my second coat and I'm just going to start um, intensifying all of those colors and adding in some of my um, veining detail and some more um, dark and light um, values. So value is really important. You want to make sure you push your values and you want to use a full range of values. So you want to have your midtones, you want to have your really bright highlighted parts and then have the deep dark shadows. The layering process is really important um, because you can really get some nice fine detail um, in the leaf and you can 
really add a lot of dimension um, by by doing layers. Just make sure that you let the paper dry or use the hair dryer like I did in between. Um, and then you can just really keep going over and over and over until you're satisfied with um, your final colors. Um, this leaf is so vibrant and beautiful. Um, it's like a, a beautiful fall day. Um, it made me happy doing this drawing. And I love how just how bright and beautiful it looks. Um, and now you can get some really intense details in by using the dry pencil on top of what you um, did provided you let the first layer dry um, but it really uh, was a fun project to do I loved using these pencils and I hope you will give it a try I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. I have 150 plus videos on my channel. Be sure to check out some of my color pencil work, some markers, some mixed media, and, um, and some pastels. So thank you so much for joining me. Leave me a comment. I love hearing from each and every one of you. And I do get back to all of you. So I want to thank you again for supporting my channel. I'm having fun doing this. And let me know what you think. Thanks so much and happy art.